حبيبي سناه من عرض ربي قلبي له موئل يرعه بالحب One of the things that Allah Azza wa Jal teaches us in Quran, for example, is بئس الاسم الفسوق بعد الإيمان Even a filthy word, a corrupt word, is terrible once you have faith. Allah has blessed a human being with this tongue, with the ability to communicate. That's a gift from Allah. And we honor that gift by using this tongue for things that are noble. By, by speaking the truth, by speaking for justice, by not wasting and, and squandering this gift that Allah has given us. Now, when we speak to each other and we say hurtful things, it lasts in that moment. But when you put a, you know, an absurd and obnoxious and arrogant comment online and you become one of those trolls that say ridiculous things under videos or under blog posts, etc, etc. Every time someone hears your inappropriate comments, it's going to be a debit for you. Because you are, every time evil has increased, something bad has increased in the world, someone else has been exposed to evil. Because of your words, you're responsible. So in that sense, putting stuff up online, you need to be a lot more careful than you are actually in person. Because in person, that conversation died immediately. So it's sinful impact, maybe you're only accountable for it for that one moment. But when you put something up online, it's going to be visited and revisited and revisited and relived. And for every one of those occasions, you are answerable and I'm answerable. So we have to be careful about that. From a spiritual